Our first word, of course, is magnet, right? That's what we're talking about. A magnet. A magnet is a piece of metal. It's a piece of metal, like this piece of metal. Some magnets are shaped like this that attracts iron or steel. So some magnets are shaped like this. By the way, what shape do we call this? What is this shape? This shape looks like the shoe that a horse wears. So we call this a horse shoe. This is a horse shoe shape. A horse shoe shape because a horse you know, we, we make a, 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 a foot or a shoe for the, uh, for the horse. The foot of the horse is like this, so that is the shape of a horseshoe. Some magnets are shaped like this, but many other magnets are just shaped like this. And this is a bar shape, bar. So magnets have horseshoe shapes, very common, and they also have bar shapes, right? And then this would be, see this one is north, this one is south, so one part here, this might be north, and this would be south. We'll talk about that later. Okay, but a magnet is a piece of metal in this shape or this shape that attracts iron or steel to it. Iron is what attracts it to. Steel is a, uh, something that human beings make from iron. So they both have iron, and it attracts it. You can see all these little paper clips. These, of course, are paper clips. Paper clips are made of steel, they have iron in them, and they are attracted to the magnet. Okay, so that's very interesting. We'll talk about attract too. So we're talking about magnets in this unit. Okay, remember on the previous slide, we were talking about magnets, and I pointed out North Pole and South Pole. Pole is a very important thing to think about when we talk about magnets. And this is a good picture showing the red part is the North Pole, and the south part, the blue part, is the south pole. Where do we also hear about poles, right? If you think about the earth, the earth also has a north pole and a south pole, doesn't it? So the north pole is up here, the south pole is down here. That's when people first found out or discovered magnets. And what they found was a force or energy that's called magnetism. Magnetism. Mag Magnetism. So a long, long time ago, actually thousands of years ago, people found out that iron would turn, if you put it in water, a small piece of iron, if you put it in water, it would turn a certain way. Of course, it was pointing north. It would point north. So a pole is one of the two ends of a magnet. Uh, a, some pieces of iron were actually, they were magnets and they would point north. It's very interesting when we look at magnetism, the force or the energy in a magnet is always flowing from the north to the south. So if you can see it, we can't see it, but the energy or the force is going like this, okay? And there's also some going, but that gets lost, right? It's going, oh, the wrong way, <laughs> okay? But it's the north is emitting the magnetism, the force, and the south is attracting it, it's picking it up. We'll talk about that some more. But whether it's a horseshoe shape or a bar shape, that's the way that the force works. So a pole is one of the two ends of a magnet, and if you think about it, the earth is a magnet. So we also have a north pole and a south pole on the earth. And that, but north pole and south pole, that tells us which way the magnet is pointing. And that's how people a long time ago could find out, oh, that way is north. Okay, so it's very interesting. Okay, so I've talked a little bit about attracted, right? Um, when the small piece of iron, it points north because it's attracted to that way, right? The energy is flowing from the north, uh, from the north part of the magnet to the south part of the magnet. So when we see this, the north part is attracted to the south part because the magnetism, the force is coming from the north and it's picked up by the south. So that means there's a force of attraction. Attract means to pull towards something. So if these two magnets, these are bar magnets, bar shaped magnets, if you put them north side to south side, they will pull towards each other. They will attract each other. And that's very interesting. We have a video of this. It's a very interesting video to watch. So let's take a look. Here we have a pile of iron or steel pieces, right? What are they? They're screws, right? These are screws. 
We use those with a screwdriver to make things out of wood, but they're made out of iron. There's screws and there's other, other pieces also here, but mostly screws. What happens if we put a magnet down here? What's going to happen? Well, as we can see, here comes the magnet, right? Whoa, and it stops because that, those pieces of steel attract the magnet, and the magnet can pull up all those pieces of steel because of magnetism. Here it comes back down, boom, right? Okay, but those pieces of metal are stuck to the magnet. They are stuck to the magnet because of attraction. They are stuck to. They are stuck to, or of course you would say stick to, for the present tense, stick to. So they stick to the magnet. They are stuck to the magnet uh, because of the attraction between the force that's going through. By the way, if this is north and this is a south, that force it creates a very strong force. It's much stronger in a horseshoe shape than it is in a bar shape. There's still a force there, but this shape creates a much stronger force so it can pick up more metal. And that's what's going on there. So that's very, very interesting. Okay. Okay, so we just saw the magnet attracting metal, but we can also see that magnets can also repel each other, push away. Remember, the magnetism force is coming out of the north end. It's coming out of the north end. So if we turn the bar magnets so that north meets north, what's happening? Well, the force is pushing against each other, right? The magnetism is coming out, but it's coming out and meeting head on. It's like crashing, right? And they don't like each other. They're pushing. They're repelling each other. Repel means to push away. So this is pushing. This is pushing. So they don't, they, they don't attract each other. They repel each other. So they go away from each other. And that's interesting to note, too, that uh, uh, these two sides, they don't like each other, so they will be pushing away from each other. This is an experiment you can try. If you have two magnets, right? Try that out. Put the north end of the magnet against the north end of another magnet. You can push them around on the table. They won't touch, but they're repelling each other. They're pushing away from each other. So that's very interesting uh, uh, force or very interesting feature of magnets. Especially with bar magnets, you can do that. Okay, we've talked a little bit about the types of things that magnets attract. One thing we've talked about was iron. Iron is a metal, right? This is a, a, a hunk of iron ore, right? This is raw iron that you find in the ground. This is a metal that is used, of course, to make many things. Iron is a heavy metal, but it's a hard metal, right? And we can shape it. Of course, a long time ago, they used to make spears and arrowheads out of it. For weapons, it was used primarily. Also for shields. It's a hard, useful metal. But one thing about iron that's very interesting when we talk about magnets is the atoms. Very, very small pieces of the iron. The atoms inside the iron, when you put a magnet near the iron, the atoms will all change direction and point towards the magnet. In iron, this is very common. Actually, magnets exert the same type of force, the same type of attraction on everything. But iron has a particular uh, feature of it is that it's very easily, it's very easily to change the direction of the atoms in iron. Other things, they don't change, the, the force is not that strong, so other things are not attracted to metal, like our bodies aren't attracted to magnets, or wood isn't attracted to magnets. But in iron, it's very strongly attracted to magnets, as we saw before, right? So iron is one substance that is attracted by magnetism or the force of the magnet, and also steel, because steel is a kind of metal that is strong and has iron in it, right? Before I said, you know, human beings, we used iron to make weapons and shields and many tools, but then we found out how to use iron in a stronger way and, and uh, in a, to make it with very much hotter temperatures, and that is steel. Once we learned how to make steel, we stopped using iron so much. But steel still has iron in it, right? There's still a little bit of iron in it. So if there is iron inside of it, those atoms are still being uh, changed direction. Those atoms still change direction, and they're being attracted 
by the magnet. So the magnet is still attracting steel because there is iron in steel. Lesson 15. Magnets. Magnet. A magnet is a piece of metal that attracts iron or steel. Pull. A pull is one of the two ends of a magnet. Attract. Attract means to pull toward. Repel. Repel means to push away. Iron. Iron is a metal that is used to make many things. Steel. Steel is a kind of metal that is strong and has iron in it.